Persale Friday. Hi guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome to my channel, Full Time Reseller. Today we're gonna sell some purses. In addition to that, I have a couple pair of shoes. And then if you caught my video earlier this week, um, I discussed that I won a large amount of purses at an online auction. So, and I showed you guys a couple pictures of the lots of them. I think I won six lots of purses. Um, they didn't say any brands. Um, they just said various brands, various conditions. Um, we are gonna go through some of them today. I'm gonna sell them to you right in the video. I have not looked through any of these purses. I literally went to the auction pickup with my husband. We took all the purses, basically dumped them from the boxes that they had them in, into my car. I piled them into, you know, like the Ikea reusable bags, and they're right here next to me. So we're gonna go through one full Ikea bag today. Um, maybe I'll do a whole video going through my, maybe like three or four of the lots and then the rest of them I'll trickle in throughout the weeks um, in the in these purse videos. So um, let's get started. If you're interested in anything you see, please email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is always right underneath the video in the description box. You might just have to click more or something to open up that box to see all my instructions and information. Um, please give me a timestamp along with a brief description of the items you're interested in just so I make sure I'm invoicing you for the correct items. Shipping is not included in the price. You have to just uh, let me calculate it with USPS and the weight of your items. And also I will keep a sold list in the comment section. So that means you just scroll up on this video where everybody's comments are and it will be the first comment pinned at the top of the comment section. When you're done with the video, please refresh it so you get the most up-to-date sold list. It really does help me if you check the sold list so I have um, like a more manageable amount of emails to get through and I'm able to get back to you guys in a timely manner. Okay, I think that wrapped it all up. So let's start with the clearance section. That is last week's purses that didn't sell. So we're gonna drop the price by five, 10, 15, sometimes $20. So the first one we have up is the Stella and Dot. So this is faux leather. And I believe this was uh, new without tag. It still has the plastic on a lot of the purse. So this is like a textured cloth. Um, it's kind of got like um, a little bit leather feel to it, but it's mostly like a textured fabric. Um, snake skin, snake print. You have the tassel here. The back is the same. And it is in, like I said, like new condition. The sides here do unzip to enlarge the bag. The, the handles are doubled and in really great condition. It is a magnet closure and you have one big opening, one big open compartment. Here are the sides that you can open up to make it a bigger purse. There's your Stella and Dot. It says, hello, gorgeous on the zipper. And then you have your slips on that side. So, like new condition on this one, Stella and Dot, and we're gonna do this one for 39, drop it to $39. I'm gonna put that right here. I don't want Dallas to trample over it because he's outside. Um, all right, so next up we had the Urban Behavior. This is also faux leather. I just thought this was a fun purse. Um, these are faux, they're not functioning pockets. Um, but you have a functioning pocket on the back. So it's black faux leather and it does have this zipper around the bottom that you can open to enlarge the purse. It is in beautiful condition. You have the um, kind of like brass tone hardware double handle and you're going to open it by lifting the flap here. And then you have a zippered interior section zipper and no slip oh yes yeah, slips all right so really nice condition fun um faux leather purse that you can enlarge uh, got some studs here and we're dropping this one to just 25 dollars 
All right, then we had the EA. All right, EA. This was the fabric striped. Again, this one is in like new condition. Um, super, 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 super clean. Uh, it has the big double handles. It is faux leather with the fabric. You have a pocket here, a pocket here, and a big pocket in the back. The corners and the bottom were in excellent condition. And then the interior, you have five compartments, guys. So you have two zippered compartments and then three regular compartments. So let's start in the back. And we're gonna do the back with your EA logo and slips and zipper. Nice, super clean. Then you have a zippered compartment. Then you have your middle section. And then you have your front section which has more slips. I mean, look at that. Absolutely beautiful condition. Nice, large size, tote style purse, hand, uh, shoulder bag, and we're dropping it to $35. All right, then we had the Hunter. This was a brand new with tag. All right, doesn't say the, does it say the price? No. It just says one size and it is a convertible. So this bag can be a shoulder bag, like it's set up now. It could be a crossbody bag if you adjust the strap, or it can be a fanny pack or a belt bag. All right, so you have the rainbow um, print. You have a zipper pocket here on the front. And then your main compartment, unzips and you, I mean, un velcros and you have a zip and there's a little plastic protector in there. No pockets on the inside, but brand new. And we're dropping this one to $35. Then we had the Steve Madden. So this one was the nice structured faux leather, uh, faux Safiano leather cheetah print you have the gold tone chain on the handle and then the long crossbody or shoulder strap the back has a pocket it is in super duper excellent condition unzip it there's your interior zipper and slip so gorgeous little purse and we're gonna do, we're dropping this one to $30. All right, then we had the House of Harlow. And just remember guys, for the clearance purses, I go over them more quickly because they were already shown in last week's video. So if you wanna see any of the clearance purses um, in more detail, just check out last week's video. All right, so this is House of Harlow, which is made by Nicole Ricci. It has the comfort um, leather on the chain strap, which could be a longer shoulder bag or crossbody. It is faux leather, faux black leather, leather with a beige um, contrast. And this one was in excellent condition as well. You have um, the zipper closure on the top and the interior. How nice and clean that is. House of Harlow with a zipper, and then you have your slips there. So super fun purse, and we're dropping this one to $29. Then we had the Coach wristlet. This was like a, um, like a pinky purple color leather with the contrast fabric. Just a little wristlet. Um, it was, it's in good condition. There's just maybe a slight discoloration toward the top, but as you can see, it's hardly noticeable. Other than that, it's really nice. Then your interior is a gray. And we're going to drop this one to $10. Then we had the Mac, um, kind of like a that's not nylon. I guess it's like a plastic, um, double-sided little makeup pouch. So Mac is a makeup company. Um, so it is dual-sided and the top you have a 
That's a silica pack. So you have that section. Check out the interior, right? It's white, red, and black. Then if you flip it over, you have another section and it's only red and black. So it's like a magic trick. So really cool, excellent condition. I don't think it's ever been used because it still had the silica pack in it. And we're gonna drop this one to 10 bucks as well. All right, then we had the purses from the America's Thrift Supply box. Only one from that box sold last week. So I'm gonna drop the prices on the rest. Um, we had the Sandra Roberts little evening bag. It had the gunmetal shoulder chain strap and it has a faux leather silver metallic woven uh, material. It, it actually is in very good condition. You have the little closure on top and you can remove the strap if you want it to be a clutch. So there's Sandra Roberts, very nice, clean. And I'm gonna drop this one to only $5, all right? If you know anybody that's going to a wedding or like a um, kind of a little bit more of a formal event, five bucks. Okay, then we had the Steve Madden backpack. So I did clean this up and I stuffed it because it was like so smushed that you couldn't even really see what it was. Um, so I cleaned it up and this is not a functioning pocket. It's just a zipper. Um, the back, I cleaned up the marks on the back. So you have the adjustable straps. This is a faux Saffiano leather. Um, so this looks like you can remove the straps and maybe make it a crossbody bag because you can remove both the straps and I'm sure you can adjust them to maybe be a crossbody. So keep that in mind because you do have hooks there. So I think you can take off one strap adjust it all the way to the loosest and hook it on each side and make it either a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. Um, so other than that, it's in really great condition. I think there was one little mark on the back I couldn't get off, not very noticeable. Um, and then the interior, there was a couple marks on the top I couldn't get out. And then your interior is in really great condition. You have your Steve mat in there with the um, zipper and your slips there. All right, so convertible backpack to a crossbody or regular purse, uh, Steve Madden, and I'm gonna drop it to only $10. Then we had the Liz Claiborne. So this was a little like vintage um, fabric purse. It has the faux leather handles. I cleaned it up. It came out nice. Um, it does have um, loops for a shoulder strap. I do have a black faux leather sh shoulder strap or crossbody strap. So um, if somebody wants it, I can add it onto the purse for an additional $5. Um, but let me go through the purse really quick. It has three compartments. You know, your your back with the zipper, the middle zipper section, and then the front here. I mean, it's clean, it's overall, it's in really good condition. Um, the strap that I have, the hardware on it is like a very light gold tone, so it doesn't exactly match, but it's just the clips. Um, so I don't know if anyone would be interested in it, but I'm only gonna do this purse, I'm gonna drop it to $3. But if you want the strap to make it um, shoulder or crossbody, I'll add that for an addi additional $5. All right, so let me know in the email. And then we had the Nine West. So this is a patent leather, black patent leather, longer shoulder bag or crossbody. It has the silver chain details. And this one, again, was in very good condition. You got a pocket on the back here, Nine West. You can uh, remove the strap if you want it to be a clutch. Okay, and this one we're gonna drop to five bucks, okay? Five dollars. Then last but not least, we had the Betsy Johnson. I cleaned this up. The, really the only flaw I could find on this was there was um, a couple little pieces of the faux leather 
that were scratched off. Very tiny little pieces of the black faux leather on each of the corners. This one barely has any. Um, but other than that, this purse was great. It had a little bit of dirty spots. I cleaned it up. So it's the white, black, and blue quilted faux leather. You got the um, tassels here. You have the handles on the top or the shoulder or crossbody bag uh, strap with the straps are in excellent condition. Everything else was great except for the tiny little marks on each of the corners. And then your interior is very, very, very clean. Okay. So this one, we're gonna drop to only $15, okay? And it's a nice size, look at that. All right. All right, so that wraps up the clearance section. So let's get into the regular thrifted purse section. So I didn't really find that many this week, but we've talked about this. Usually the end of the year, people are more focused on the holidays and not really focusing on um, purging their closets and donating, but that's okay. We make it work somehow. That's why I was glad to find the online auction um, for all those purses and it was only like 15 minutes away from me. So blessed. Okay, so let's start with the first one and it is called, well it is by Cape Cod Leather and it is brand spanking new. New without tags. It's got all the plastic on it still. Okay, look at all this. All plastic, all nice, nice. It is genuine leather. It's a beautiful pink. Look how cute it is. You got the tassel. You have a pocket on each side. You have these two are functioning pockets. And then the back has a big zipper pocket. All right. It is it is, all right, I didn't stuff it fully, but it is brand new and it did not have any flaws because I know sometimes even though it's new, it still can have a flaw. This, I could not find any. Um, so you even have the plastic on the hardware here. Nice big rope um, handles. And then the inside, you have three compartments. Okay, so the back over here is a snap closure with nothing in it. Then you have the same thing on the front. And then the main compartment is zippered. There's your Cape Cod leather with your zipper and slips. So I've never heard of this brand, but it's in, it's a beautiful, nice, um, substantial bag, great quality, uh, genuine leather, $49. It's brand new. All right, next up we have a coach. This is a really cute crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it. It's a pink, like nylon stripes. You have a pocket on the back. Here's your hang tag. You have a zipper pocket on the front. And then your main compartment is zippered. No pockets on the inside, but you have your Creed. Um, I think was there, okay, there was nothing wrong with the inside. A few of these purses have a couple little marks, so I just wanna make sure. Okay, and also just keep in mind, all these purses are, well, majority of them are pre-owned. I do try to tell you guys any and every little flaw that it has, but you know, I do, I may miss something, I am human, so just keep in mind these are used pre-owned purses. So this one, we're gonna do 45 on, 45. Next up, we have a Vera Bradley. So this one is also adjustable shoulder to crossbody, and it is a pink, it's like a purpley, I would say it's more of a purpley pink, more of a purple with gray and white, and it is a pretty nice size. Let me move over a little bit. And you have two pockets here in the front. You have a zippered pocket in the back. It is in very nice condition, corners. Hi, Dallas. All right, let me shut the door. Good boy. Okay, so that's the um, outside in corners. Excellent. Zipper closure. Oh, he's going to do his roly polies because it's raining outside. Let me see. <laughs> 
What are you doing, silly? <laughs> Hi, you good boy. Do you want a treat? Okay, let me get him a treat. Hold on. So, um, interior has the zipper closure, and then you have your interior. There were a couple spots on the top that I could not, toward the top that I could not get off. Just a couple little minor spots. And then you have your two slip pockets there. Okay, so um, this Vera Bradley, we're going to do 35. I think I moved the camera a little bit. Okay, 35. All right, let's switch the page. And the next one, okay, so this is an example of a brand new with tags purse that, uh, there's a teeny little flaw. So, brand new with tags, it is uh, vegan leather. It's so buttery and beautiful. Um, it's like an orangey peach. The camera is showing it true to color. Um, this is a zippered section here in the front. Okay, everything is perfect on it and in new condition. Um, it is a backpack, but it's convertible. So you have the two straps here, or you can pull this up and it's a shoulder or crossbody bag. So the little flaw is right back here behind the strap. See that? I think the, the strap was hitting it. So that's the only little flaw on this gorgeous bag. Then the top has a zipper closure. And your interior has a zipper pocket there. And a um, slip pocket there. So this one, convertible uh, backpack to crossbody or shoulder bag, vegan leather. And it's by Leterre, Leterre. And we're gonna do 40 on this one. All right, next up we have like a little messenger bag. This one, oh bless you. <laughs> this one does not have a maker on it. This could be like a messenger bag, crossbody or shoulder. It is leather with this nice um, cheetah print calf hair. Okay, uh, the back is like a metallic leather with a zipper compartment. The corners and the bottom seem to be in good condition. And you're gonna pop open the top. This is all leather up here. It's a very cool print. You got the leather here. It is a zipper closure. And then the interior is all leather as well. You have a zipper pocket there. All right, so the, the um, zippers are marked YKK which is a sign of a more quality bag. Um, if you look on like higher end bags and designer bags, their um, zippers will say YKK. Um, I just couldn't find a maker on this purse, um, but we're gonna sell it and we're gonna do $45. All right, then we have a bag by Y&S Handbags. I've never heard of this but I thought it was such a cool bag. Look at the strap. It could be a longer shoulder bag or crossbody. It is faux leather, but check it out. Isn't it so cool? I thought it was so unique and different and it is in amazing condition. I think it's vintage. It is super structured and in amazing condition. So there's the bottom and your corners. The back has a zippered pocket. The straps are in phenomenal condition. So when you lift up the top here, this is a really cool part of the purse. So you're gonna open up this. And it folds down to a little like wallet area, which I thought was super cool. I'll button that up later. So it says, it does say Y&S. Oh, it says another original, okay. So your interior has two, three compartments. So you have the back compartment with your zipper, the middle zippered, and then you have the front over here. 
All right, so this one, let me snap this back together. What are you doing, Dally, huh? Really cool bag, I love it. And we're going to do $35 on it. What are you doing, huh? All right, you're stepping on everything though, Bubba. Okay, next up we have another purse that I couldn't find a brand name on it. But again, it has YKK zippers. This is another vintage. It is a metallic leather. It could be a crossbody or shoulder bag. <laughs> it has gold um, hardware and this really fun tassel. It reminds me of a Picasso, something pa Picasso bag. Um, has a back zipper, very, very nice condition. It has a zipper closure. I love the shape of it, it's such a fun shape. And the inside is all leather as well. Zipper, okay. So we got this fun vintage one and we're gonna do $30 on it. Okay, hi, I already gave you a treat. Okay, next we have a Dooney and Burke. So this one, I love the color combo on this one. You have the red leather with the tan, I should say it's like a beige fabric. These are pockets here in the front. Nothing on the back. The bottom is in great condition. There's just a couple small little marks. The corners have very minimal wear. It's just more of like a dirtiness. I did try to clean it um, and it's not budging but very minimal overall awesome condition you can adjust this strap a little bit gold tone hardware um <clears throat> zipper closure now the interior does have a couple of of marks including ink i did try to get it clean as much as i can but um, it's still there a little bit. So you have the Dooney and Burke with the zipper. Now the um, zipper compartment has the most ink, okay? But it does not show through to the bag. And then the bottom is just minimal ink. And there's one spot there, a little bit of ink. Show the other side and a little bit down there. Okay, I did try to clean it as best as I can. Um, and then you have your um, serial number there. All right, so just a little bit, little bit of an issue on the inside, but not too bad. I, you, know, you guys know I always try to bring you guys the best quality I can. And we're gonna do this one for 55. Okay. All right, then we have a coach. This one I think is my favorite of the haul. Look at how cute it is. So it is a blue leather, pebbled leather coach. You have the handle, okay? And it is removable. You also have the top handles. It is in phenomenal condition. Awesome, 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 awesome condition. Okay, um, oh, that's a little hair on there. There we go. So it is a zipper closure and the inside is gorgeous and clean. All right, you saw the paper on the zipper. You have your Creed with your zipper pocket. Nothing on that side, but super nice and clean. Adorable purse, I love it. I would wear it as a crossbody bag. Super cute, and we're gonna do this one for 65. Next up, we have a bag by Pulakati. So all my ladies that love the big bags, big, big slouchy bags, here you go. Whoa, mama. So, I mean, check out these zipper pulls. They're like as big as my hand. So this is Pulakati, there's the brand. It is black genuine leather and it is beautiful. So it is large. <laughs> it has the one top handle here that can be adjusted uh, shorter. 
You have two super big pockets in the front. I did condition this one, it came out gorgeous. Nothing on the back. Excellent condition on the corners and the bottom. We're gonna open it up, it's a zipper closure. There's a lot of stuffing that took to stuff this bag. <laughs> okay, so the inside is silver. This is gonna be hard to show you. So you have the Pulakati with the zipper pocket. No slips on the other side, but there was a couple little discoloration marks. Let me see if I can get, get it here. So right down there, right there, and a little bit up there. Not too bad, but I just, you know, you guys know I like to show you everything. So this one, nice, big, slouchy, beautiful bag. We're going to do 60 on, six zero. All right, then we have, let's bring you guys closer. Okay, next up we have a Bagalini. This one is really cool. It's um, cheetah print. Again, shoulder or crossbody bag. Tons of pockets, you guys. You have this zipper pocket, this zipper pocket, this zipper pocket, and this zipper pocket has some card slots and another zipper pocket inside there. <laughs> so, and then the bottom corners are really great. You have a pouch pocket on the back, zipper closure on top, and on the inside you have your zipper and slips, and there are, I think, two or three little ink marks down there. Those right there. So this one, tons of pockets, and we're gonna do $25 on it. Okay, the next two bags I have are um, both by the same brand. They are by a brand called Benno Kamenzined. I'll put it on the screen. Um, it's, a, it's a brand from Switzerland. And I have one in brown and one in blue. And I believe they're vintage and they have, I don't think they've ever been worn. They are in fabulous condition and they are a butter leather, you guys. Butter leather, so soft. It is adjustable, so you can make it, I think it's just gonna be a longer shoulder bag. Maybe crossbody, it might be a little short. But here's the blue one. So you have this um, textured front here. They, they're both in like new condition. You have a zipper pocket on the back. I mean, you, you guys can just see how soft this is. Um, zipper closure on the top and you have two sections okay so the first section has a zipper pocket right there and it does have the um, name all on the inside and then the other section that is zippered has another zipper pocket and this just says sweet um, this says Switzerland All right, and very, 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 very clean. So this is the blue one. All right, and this one is going to be, they're both $30, so this one's $30. And then you have the brown one, same strap thing, okay. Oops, it's a little twisted. You can adjust it. This is what the brown one looks like. It's plain on the front. It doesn't have any texture to it. It does have the same um, zipper pocket on the back, same excellent condition, and it does have the same two compartments that are zippered. This one has just a different um, interior <clears throat> with the zipper, and then the other pocket, other compartment, has a zipper as well. So $30 for this one as well. This is the brown and I also have the blue. Okay, then we have all of our littles. Let's bring those up here. Ugh. 
Oh, okay. So first up we have a new with tag, juicy wristlet, juicy couture. Look at that. $45 tag. It is a faux Saffiano leather. I love this print. It is flat with the faux leather contrast. There's your interior. Okay, gorgeous. And we're going to do $18 on this one. It has a $45 price tag. All right, then next up we have a Dooney and Burke eyeglass case. It is the um, like Saffiano style leather with the tan trim. There, I think there was one teeny little itty bitty spot that I couldn't get off. And I think that was it. <clears throat> okay. Oh no, wait, right here. I knew there was one other spot. All right, so the Dooney and Burke eyeglass case, we are going to do $15. Then we have a Coach green leather wristlet. It has uh, these little perforated spots on it. Excellent, excellent condition. Okay, beautiful. Pop it open and you have your Coach lined interior. Okay, so this one we are going to do $20. Then I have an Anne Klein. So I thought this one would just be really um, useful to somebody. It's a faux leather. It's an orange, like a dark orange Anne Klein. It is a card case. So it is like brand new and you're just going to open it up and it's for all your cards. All right, you get slots here, slots here. It, it can be an actual wallet or you can just use it for all your cards and maybe your checkbook. So I just thought it was really cool, really cool and useful and it's in immaculate condition. So I'm gonna do this one for $12. Then we have a Furla wallet. Furla is a designer brand. It's more of a luxury brand. This is like a white, it's kind of like an off-white leather. Um, there are a couple little discolorations to it because it's white and it's been used, but I think overall it's in gorgeous condition. You have the pull with the zipper pocket in the back. Okay, a little bit of discoloration. And then you're gonna open up the wallet. Pretty, pretty nice on the inside. There's your furla down there. You have all your card slots. Okay, then you have your two money slots. All right, super cool wallet. Couple little discoloration marks, but we're gonna do $30 on it. Okay, then we have a Patricia Nash little card holder wristlet. It is brown leather. And it does have a couple little scratches, but I feel like some leather is like that. You know, any little scratch and it will just, you know, make marks. But I did condition it. So you have all your card slots on this side. And then you have your zipper if you want to put some cash in there. Okay, so this one we're going to do $15. All right, then let's turn the page again. So these are super random, but I just thought they were cool. Um, these are a pair of sunglasses. They are UV protectant. Um, they don't have any brand on it or anything. I just thought they were fun. Matches my shirt. Kind of looks good on me, huh? Should I put this as the uh, default? Purses. It's the purse sale, Friday purse sale. <laughs> okay, so they're in super excellent condition, no scratches that I could see. I cleaned them up nice, nice, and they are going to be just 10 bucks. 
Okay, then we have a Michael Kors set, but I'm gonna sell it separate. Um, so we have the Michael Kors hat. It is a gray and like a light gray. It's a little beanie. Here is the Michael Kors tag. Um, it is acrylic and polyester. So we're gonna do $10 on the hat. And then we have the scarf. Okay, excellent, excellent condition on both. You can wear it on either side. You can't on the hat because it has the tag. But, um, and we're gonna do $10 on the scarf as well. Okay, so I have a couple pairs of shoes and then we're gonna go through the purses. I can't wait. Okay, so the first pair of shoes I have are a pair of Toms. These are a suede cheetah print flat. They are a size eight and a half. And Toms can sell pretty well. I've sold their ankle boots for like $45 used. So um, they're in pretty good condition used. I mean, look at the footbed. Pretty nice, right? So these are size eight and a half and I'm going to ask $19. Then we have a pair of Naot. These can do really well resale. Um, these are pretty expensive shoes. So these are a like a, a burgundy suede with the blue embroidered flowers. They are a slip-on mule. They are size 10. They are in pretty nice condition. I mean, look at that footbed. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I stuffed them because they were a little misshapen. Um, and we are going to do these for $24, size 10. <laughs> All right, next up we have a pair. Let me just grab both of these. Okay, next up we have a pair of Michael Kors, uh, like a burgundy again, more of a red suede flat. These are like a uh, loafer. They are in very, very good condition. I mean, the sticker's still on it. I don't think they're new, but they're pretty close to it. You have the Michael Kors on the front there with the little bow. All right, I mean, the footbed, it looks really nice. These are a size seven and a half. And I'm going to do these for $28. Yeah, seven and a half, just making sure. And then last but not least, I have a pair of rag and bone uh, black suede ankle boots. Rag and bone is super duper expensive, you guys. Um, they're a size seven and a half. They do have a little bit of wear, but I think that they are still really super nice. They're a little ankle booty with a, a small heel. It's probably about two inches. I really like these. They are size seven and a half, and I'm gonna do 30 on them, okay? All right, so let me switch out these purses. Let me bring the bag of mystery purses over here, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I spent, I think it was a little over $300. I didn't count the purses because they didn't um, give a count or anything. It was literally just a pile of purses for each of the listings. Um, I will put some of the photos here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about if you missed my video earlier in the week. So like I said, I did not look through anything. I literally just took the purses that they had in their boxes and dumped them into my car. My trunk is actually still full with purses and this was last weekend that I got them. So um, we have a Ikea bag full of them that we're gonna go through today. Um, I don't really have any high hopes for brand names um, because I didn't really see any specific brand names except for a TNLO. Um, but I did see that some of them were new with tag from Marshalls. 
Um, and from what I can count from the photos, I counted 102 purses. Just from what I can see, there could have been some behind others or whatever. So um, I'm gonna be giving you guys really great deals on these. So let's see what we got together. All right, so the first one is this white one. The heck is this? Is this on here? Yeah, so we got a little key that's like stuck on there. Um, I think it's leather. So these were all mixed vintage and regular. I did see a lot of vintage. I did see a lot of wallets. Um, not a lot, but so this one's not really in like the best condition. It says S and H on the on the zipper. I mean, the inside's great. The outside is not bad. But again, it's not something that I would pick out at the thrift store to buy. Um, but if anybody's interested, and also I have not cleaned any of these, nothing. So they're literally from the auction house right here to you guys. Um, but you know, I will, all, I will clean everything as best as I can if you are interested in it. So on this one, I'm just gonna do $5. Next we have this one, Contessa Genuine Leather. Okay, so this I think is also pretty vintage. It is a blue leather. It's got some, I think one of the bags, I think I see which one it is. It's the, the bag is flaking onto this one, but it comes off. So it's just a little clutch, I think. Or it could be a little makeup bag or a little travel bag. Someone's a little hanky. Um, but it's it's actually in a very nice condition. This one is in a really, really, really good condition. You have the zipper closure on the top. You have a zipper here. So, I mean, really nice. It just needs to be cleaned up. So it could be like a little toiletry bag or it could be a little clutch. Um, it does not have uh, loops for a shoulder strap or anything. So I'm gonna do this one for $10. Okay, so this is the one that I can see is peeling. See that? So this I think I might just skip on this one. Um, see if I can find a brand at least. No, there's no branding. So, and it's peeling, so I'm not okay with that, look. So we're gonna pass on this one. If anyone does want it, um, it has a YKK zipper though, so it's gotta be something good. But um, if anybody does want this one, maybe to rehab, I'll just do two bucks, okay? Um, all right, this one looks like a brown leather. Um, Oh, this is St. John's Bay. This one is in really nice condition. It's a little um, shoulder bag or a little like man purse because it's kind of like the side. You got the back zipper pocket. You have a pocket in here. have your little hang tag. So this one's really nice. I would say that this is like new condition. So um, let's do this one for 20. All right, then we got this guy. This guy definitely needs to be conditioned. Look at that. It, the leather is so dry. So, so dry. Um, it could be, I guess, a crossbody. You have a back pocket. I mean, it looks like it's in good shape. It's just super duper duper dry. I mean, it's packed. It's by Cherokee. It is packed with the stuffing. And then you have this pocket in the back. Oh geez, there's stuff in it. All right, there's just a calculator checkbook thing. Oh, how cool, it comes with a um, notebook. 
Oh, it's an address book. Is it? It's a little scheduler. How cute. Completely new. It's attached. So look at, so you have, it's like different, um, it's a travel bag. So you have memos, you have cash and coins. That is, it's a zippered section. Then you have this section that says agenda. And then you even have a little mirror that's attached and it is brand new. So this is really cool. Um, I will clean it up and um, condition it, but I do think it's new. And if anybody wants this, I would do 15. That's pretty neat. Okay, so here's one of the TNLOs. I can probably get that off. There's just maybe a little bit of paint or something there. But this is a brown, it's smushed. It's like a chestnut brown leather TNLO. You have the back zipper pocket, um, a teeny little bit of wear on that corner, teeny little bit over here. And so teeny little bit of wear on the corners. Um, but the straps and the front look fine. Uh, you have three compartments. Okay, so the back is really clean. It's magnet. The center is zippered. Really nice with your slips and zipper. Then the front here is magnet. Nice and clean. Okay. So this one's great. It just has a little bit of wear to each of the corners, very minor. Let's do 20 bucks on this one. Okay, I'm gonna try to go a little faster because I don't want this video to be too long. So this one's really cool. This one looks like it's vintage. There are definitely a little bit of wear marks on the bottom. There's a little mark there. A couple Okay, so, but not bad, it's, it's cute. Super vintage. Okay, so this is when they were making the hardware with brass. See all the patina on it? All that green, yeah. So this might have to be trashed. I mean, somebody can clean it. I don't see any, I don't see any, um, branding so two dollars if anybody would like this one okay it looks like we have some paint okay but it's coming off so that's fine I can clean that this looks pretty vintage um, it has the long crossbody strap you have spots on the back for your pens Probably a cell phone, maybe not, maybe cigarettes, I don't know, whatever you wanna use it for. Um, pop it open. Oh, the, this one comes with a notebook too. <laughs> How cool, and it's not used. Calculator, card slots, credit, um, checkbook spot. This is kind of cool, you guys. And then inside here, you have a mirror as well. What does that say? Oh, it's not a mirror. I don't know where it went. Weird. Um, it, there's no branding, but you know, I'll clean it up and I'll just do $10 on this one. This one looks cool. Check this one out. I don't see any branding, but it does feel like leather. I would, pro I think someone wore this to the back because there's a little bit of um, transfer. Corners are really great. So this would, I would wear this to the front. It's got just a little bit. I'll try to clean that. You got the zipper pocket on the front. 
Nice. Zipper closure on the top. Again, no branding. Stone Mountain, Stone Mountain. So that keychain right there says Stone Mountain. So this must be vintage. This must be vintage. This is really nice, you guys. This is really, really nice. And it's a beautiful leather. I really like this one. And I love the buckle detail right there. The strap is gorgeous. I love how it's held on there. This is awesome. Um, let's do 25 on it. Okay, let's keep it moving. We have a beautiful purple. This feels like faux leather, but it looks like it's in great condition. My arm is hurting. <laughs> it is a zipper closure. I like how they stuff them all for you though. That's cool. Save all that. So it doesn't have a brand. It just says all made, man, all made, man-made materials made in China. You, it's very clean. You got the zipper up there. Super nice and clean. Fun purple shoulder bag. Five dollars. Ooh, this is pretty. What are you? Genuine leather. This is adorable. This looks brand new. Look at that. So um, you got a little, I don't know if somebody put that there or if it came like that. I'm not seeing any branding yet. A lot of stuffing. Worthington. Zip and slips. Absolutely beautiful. This is gorgeous. Excellent, like new condition. Let's do 25 on this one too. All right, I see this little guy. This might be faux leather. This is black, little crossbody or longer shoulder bag, possibly vintage. Um, just a teeny little bit of corner wear. You have two compartments. It just says all made man-made material. Oh, it's blue. It's blue. I'm sorry. Snap. Here's your zipper. So no branding. Five bucks. Oh, look at that. See that? That's cool. It almost reminds me of Siam, but I know it's not. So we got a little vintage one here, like satin, black satin. Wait. I hear money. <laughs> it says nothing. Oh, here we go. Andy or Anday. Where do I hear the money coming from? There must be a hole somewhere because it's in the bag. It's like in the bag, but I don't see any holes, so we'll have to figure that out. But it just needs a little cleaning. Five bucks. This is Stone Mountain. Says it right there. It's a beige, but there's there's definitely some discoloration. Um, yeah, a little bit of discoloration on the bottom. There's that mark there. It is leather though. It is a pretty pink interior. It's clean on the inside, zipper and slips. But there are a couple flaws to the outside. So for that, I'm just gonna do $5, okay? I'm 
this is just like a little maybe um, greenish beige nylon shoulder or crossbody bag. Seems all right. I don't know if that will come off. I don't know what this T stands for, but you have a pocket here on the front. Oh, travel on. That's what I thought, but I didn't want to make any, any assumptions. Okay. Oh, it's a converter. So you can use it as a shoulder bag or a waist pack, belt bag, fanny pack. And then it has this that's inside, but it's all tore up. Look at that. So I would probably just throw that out. But the rest of this bag is actually really nice. So um, I will do $5. We have a Vera, Vera Bradley. Um, it probably needs to be washed. I can do that if you would like. It's a, just a little shoulder bag. It's blue. You have a zipper pocket here in the front. Looks clean, looks good, looks you know in good shape. Oh look, you have a little insert pouch. Good. You have your slip pockets over here. So this one's really nice. It probably just needs a wash. Um, 15 bucks. My nose is starting to get all uh, itchy. Okay, we have a blue shoulder purse. Really cute um, suede. It might be faux suede. It's coming off purple on camera, but I think it's blue. Really cool. Seems like it's in good condition. It just needs to be wiped down. Kiss lock. The inside is black. You have a little um, slip pocket there. No markings. Super cute. 10 bucks. All right, we only have a couple more. This is a little um, fabric tote. It seems like it's in good shape. Um, looking for a maker. No maker. It does have this to tie the bag closed with and there's little little ducky or something there. It's clean. It just probably needs well I mean like it's not stained. It probably needs to be washed. Um, but it's cute and it's in really great shape. 10 bucks. Oh, this is cute. Look at that. Darling's handcrafted designs. So you have, it's probably handmade. It's a little shoulder bag, blue fabric. This is in nice condition. It has a zipper closure. There's a dime down there. Some slip pockets, $5. Oh, here's another Tianello. Okay. This is a crossbody. It is red pebbled leather. This seems like it's in really good shape. You have a pocket, zipper pocket. Let's check inside. Good. Pull po I mean, zipper pocket on the top. All right. Just a little fuzzies. You have the zipper there. Wait, what does that say? Just the skew or something. So really nice, 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 nice. Um, this will come off. That's just a little bit of dirt or something. Let's do 15 on this one. All right, so we have a metallic gold clutch. It looks like it's in really nice condition. No markings, nothing inside. I 
I would not really say a phone fits in there, but five bucks. We have a cute little tapestry purse, crossbody, super cute, YKK zipper, blank inside, great condition, five bucks. This reminds me of the sack, but it is, I don't see any markings, a little shoulder bag. It's like a beige woven. Seems like it's in really great shape. Yeah, super nice. Slip pocket, zipper closure, five bucks. All right, this is the last bag. Beautiful. It is leather. It is gorgeous. This might be a little bit of a flaw right here. See that? The handles are gorgeous. They are leather as well. Ooh, this is a Maurizio Tiatuti. Tiauri. I don't know who that is. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You guys. It's it's stunning. It's like it was never worn. I love it. I don't know the brand, um, but if it's somebody super famous, you guys are getting a deal. I'm gonna do this one for 30 bucks. I am, it's leather, it's beautiful. Okay guys, that was the last one in the bag. So I will continue these um, you know, going forward in purse sales. And I might even do a full video of a couple of the lots, because like I said, I got six lots. I don't know how many this was because like I said, I literally just threw everything in my car and put them in, um, reusable bags and my trunk is still packed. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you again. Check the sold list down in the comment section and the description box has all my information. Um, I appreciate you. Make sure you click that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next one.